Greetings YouTube and welcome to the Blue Corner. Today I'm here with Nation Duelist and we are continuing part two of traditional week here where I'm profiling some decks that participated in our locals this past weekend where we were just playing tr tr simple traditional, not the 100 card format as you guys saw with Mega Monkey's deck and Nation here decided to play Noble Knights and you got third place, right? Yeah, third place. Okay, so he's just going to go over the deck and explain some of his choices and just, yeah, see an uh, interesting take on Noble Knights for this. Okay, so go ahead with your monsters. Yep, so obviously, three Madrots. Best card in the deck. Yep, three Boars. Second best card in the deck. Practically the core right here. Yeah. Yeah, without it, pretty much useless. <laughs> and then playing three of the Vanilla Artorias. Okay. And then after that, three Gawain. Mm-hmm. One Dristan. Mm hmm. One. I don't even well, know how to pronounce it. I don't even want to try. Uh, Gwalchevad? Gwalchevad? Whatever, yeah. I'll just pull up that one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and one Gwen. Yep. And two Effect Veilers. Okay. That's it for my monsters. No Lady of the Lake? Um, no, only because I currently don't have the Synchro monster, so I'm just kind of doing an Exceed build right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so, may I ask them why you're using the Vanilla Artorigus then? Um, it's another target for, um, uh, Gwen. so like if I ever draw into him or whatever, he's, he's still an 1800 beater, so he can get over a lot of stuff now, and also he's a light, light, so I can go for Omega or anything like that, and go for him, special summon, overlay, or anything. Fair point. Yeah. Okay. And then, Just extra monsters, really. Yep. Yeah. And then your spells? Um, for Noble Arms, I've got three Excalibur, two Galatine. Mm-hmm. Two Destiny. One. Our, our food dude. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, that one destroys sets. <laughs> yep. And one Caliburn for Noble Arms. How did you feel about this ratio of Noble Arms? Um, it actually works out pretty well. I really enjoyed how it works. Did Usually you? I'd play three Destiny, but currently only got two, and so far it's actually working very, com very and well. How about three Excalibur? Did you find that too clunky or No, not really, because usually more than time I'll banish one to uh, exceed to rank up my uh, either my rank four or rank down my rank five. Yeah. And then I still have two left over, usually in my grave or whatever, so I can just bring it back. Yeah, so not it helps. Given the format that we're also playing in, there's there tends yeah. to be a lot of a lot of targeting. <laughs> yeah, chaos so, monsters. Yeah, it, it's it, it helped me win games. A All lot. right. <laughs> it helped me win. And Bring then regular stuff. Three MST. Yep. Book of Moon. Mm -hmm. Rhoda. Yep. One Pot of Duality. Okay. One Graceful Charity. Giant True Name. Uh huh. Heavy Storm. Mm hmm. A Regeki. Yep. A Painful Choice. Okay. I just want to ask what were your ideal uh, targets for this? My ideal targets were usually four different uh, Noble Arms and then Gwen. Because in either way, I can still equip Gwen, and then usually when I rank up, I'll have the Noble Arms in the grave, and just helps me grab it way quicker. Oh, you mean Gwen? Okay. Yeah, Gwen. That's, that's what I meant. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And then you had one more spell card. What was it? Oh, uh, limited... Rank up magic, limited Baryon's Force. Okay. I want to know the reasoning behind this one. Um, Mega Monkey and I were talking just the other day about how... We should play one rank up card in each of our decks for a tournament, just, just for, just, yep. just for fun. And so I was like, you know what? It's traditional. It's meant to have fun. So why not play it? And funny enough, it's actually won me two games today. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna play it. And turns out, it actually won me a couple games of it. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, it's our locals and it's traditional. Why not? Yeah. And I'll explain the story of how I. One using it after I show you guys the extra deck. Okay. And, and for traps, I only played two. I, for some reason, I thought I played more, but I guess I only played two in the deck. I'll be bottomless and solemn judgment. Okay. Yep. So if I can ask, uh, what were some of the cards you considered playing, but you ultimately had to cut out? Like, um, I was originally thinking of putting in a monster born, but I re remember that. I don't really, really, really need to, because I usually just some, source someone from the deck and then just protect my one monster, and then usually just grab cards from my grave. I don't really need to special summon, because I'm usually doing special summoning from either from my deck or from my hand, because that's where I get my, most of my monsters from anyway, so it seemed inconsistent to use a monster reborn. Okay, and were there any cards you wish you could have gotten in here? Mm, 
There are a couple. Can't really think of it on the top of my head right now, though. Um... I th oh, yeah, Harpy's Feather Duster, that's what it was. Yeah. Yeah, that was one I needed. Those were actually surprisingly hard to find today. Yeah. I was even thinking about uh, main decking or Griffin Wing just for fun, but I was like, nah, no. I won't. No, that, that'd be yeah. way too bad. It'd be too bad, but... All right, for your extra <laughs> deck. Yeah, um, I played three Sacred Noble Knight of King Artorgus, and then three of Artorgus, King of Noble Knights, the rank four one. I played two Blade Armor Ninjas... Mm-hmm. Uh, Heroic Champion Excalibur. Ooh, the Ghost Rare. First edition Ghost Rare. Beautiful. Very beautiful. Uh, Gagaga Cowboy. Yep. Two number 39 Utopias. <laughs> number C 101 Silent Honors Dark. Number C 69 Heraldic Crest of Horror. Number C 39 Utopia Ray Victory. And number C 39... Utopia Ray V. So which ones did you actually draw? Um, today, during the actual tournament, the only one I actually dropped was him and Sun Honors Dark Knight. Only two I dropped today. And the one I won was because I brought him out and sucked up all my opponent's monsters, and he couldn't do anything about it, so I just beat him down with that. And so, um... I was actually placing against uh, my friend Matt, who was playing Chaos Lords once today. Yep. And uh, what happened was he drew really badly, and I had limited barons, force in hand, and two monsters. So what I did was, well, I had, um, what was it? Um, where was he? I had him on the field, equipped with uh, Galatine. And I had limited barons, force in hand. I had a Artorgus, I believe it was. And also, and I drew into another Gwen. I mean, yeah, I turned Gwyn, so I summoned Artorgus, and then special Gwyn, overlaid for Utopia, and then used Limited Baryon's Force to go into a Heraldi Crest of Horror. A 4,000 attack beater. <laughs> uh, anyway, so this is rank, uh, yeah, I guess a traditional Noble Knights with a tech rank up that does stupid stuff. Oh. And it actually works. Would you play this again at another traditional tournament? Yeah, I would play with. I'd play this again. With some changes, mind you. Yeah. Well, next time, hopefully, um, hopefully, I can use the seventh one next time. <laughs> That'd um, be more fun. Oh my god! Seventh one. Try that. Just cause. Why not? Well, you got a whole month to do uh, to prepare for the next one. Yep. Anyway, so that is Noble Knights featuring your Juju channel name is what again? Nation Duelist. And what do you do on your channel? Um, I usually just create a like I'll play on Def Pro and Card Fight Area for Vanguard, and usually I'll save the replays and then I'll just upload to my channel. And I've been working on with um, I'm thinking of starting Let's Plays and also doing a little bit of AMV work. I had an AMV actually made, and I tried putting it on my channel, but it ended up getting taken down because of copyright issues. So, try and working on a different one right now. Alright, so check them out. Till next time, this is Blue Starry Night 9 and Co. Jacking out.